¿Qué, qué hicieron? Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? Hi, Loida. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Janet. How are you today? I'm fine. Oh, my goodness. Where is my coffee? Everybody's drinking coffee, but to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's not coffee. It's, yeah. yeah. I have something over here. My pencil. It's, uh, um, I'm going to use this one. Uva. I'm going to pretend that I'm drinking coffee, okay? <laughs> so it's, it's time to coffee. Yeah, it's too hot huh, to drink coffee. Yeah, okay. It's better. And, yes. Uh, and Jenny, uh, how you soda say? of Janet. Ah. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Mr. Carmona Vasquez. How are you? Who? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. Uh, and uh, Roxana, thank you. Elizabeth, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. How was your weekend? Fine. Fine? Fine. Excellent. Any excitement uh, for Fine. the Excuse me. No, no, le escuché, teacher. Oh, any excitement uh, during the weekend? No, le entendí lo que dijo. Oh, algo que hiciste en el fin de semana que fue. Ah, no. No. Solo dormir, dormir. Stayed home. Okay. Relaxing. That's good. That's good. Excellent. And uh, Ronaldo Gutierrez, how's the weather? Hello, teacher. Hello. How is the weather? It's a little hot. Yeah, it is very, very hot uh, where we are in San Salvador. Yeah. I, I think it's well. the hottest uh, day of the week today. It's too hot. All right. And Oscar Aguilar, how are you? I see, I see the, uh, the e, um, England flag uh, behind you. Yes, yes, yes. All right, but I can't hear you. I don't know why I can't. Uh, I couldn't hear you. No te puedo escuchar. Nothing at all. Okay, okay. Good evening, every everyone. Uh, today is a beautiful day, beautiful evening. Uh, I hope uh, you have had uh, a wonderful weekend and uh, uh, that you have done good things because nobody called me. Nadie me llamó, entonces no he hecho malas cosas. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije, se, se portaban bien, se portaban mal, me llamaron? Nadie me ha llamado, quiere decir que no se han portado mal. Todos se han portado bien. <laughs> ok. Ok. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> ok. Eh, es un día más que vamos a... a Hoy va, tenemos algo excited eh, para hacer, eh, es algo emocionante que tenemos hoy y uh, es acerca de, de los dos uh, 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 auxiliary verbs uh, que son will and would. Vamos a ver, la a, a veces hay mucha confusión entre ellos, cuándo usarlos y para qué sirven. Eh, hoy vamos a ver las tres formas de usar esos dos uh, eh, moral verbs que se llaman el will y el would ah, vamos a verlo de una forma de eh, cuando es para, para usarlo para el futuro y el otro o condicional y el otro como polite expression so esas tres formas lo vamos a ver hoy pero antes de, de ese excitement eh, vamos a hablar de cosas tristes 
no tristes, ¿verdad? Pero cosas de, y acerca de la plataforma, y necesitamos terminar la plataforma el miércoles, tiene que quedar terminada el miércoles, todo terminado, y para el jueves ya nomás hablar de otras cosas más emocionantes que, que examen, pero el miércoles ya tiene que tener eh, eh, terminado el examen, lo que no, los que ya lo terminaron, congratulations, eh, 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 felicitaciones para los que ya lo terminaron, y los que no, y tenemos que terminarlo, estoy disponible para ustedes eh, eh, durante el día también porque ya las clases del, donde estaba enseñando ya las paramos hasta después de vacaciones, entonces tengo tiempo available if you need help, ok. Eh, el de la plataforma, se acuerdan que es 80% de terminar la plataforma y eh, 90% para nosotros, 80% para Insafor, 90% para nosotros, ok. El que ya lo terminó, happy ever after. Pero el que no, please finish it eh, para el miércoles. No tienen que pasar del miércoles, ¿ok? Entonces, uh, si alguien necesita por privado, me puede hablar y decir, mire, teacher, necesito ayuda en esto, esto. No hay problema. I will be more than glad to help you finishing the platform, ¿ok? Ok, estamos Ronaldo Gutiérrez y Jenny, Luis Hernández, Roxana, Janet y Loida. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Sí. Solo, solo una cosa, teacher. Fíjese que yo me he quedado sin WhatsApp, entonces a mí no me llegan los mensajes de, en el grupo, ni de, ni, ni de inglés corporativo tampoco. Entonces, no sé si me puede, si me pudieran enviar ellos a mi correo la información que envían por WhatsApp, porque no puedo tener acceso ahorita a WhatsApp. Para eso tiene que llamar usted a, a inglés corporativo. Llame el número de teléfono. Si no lo tiene, se lo doy para que llame y hable con Elena. Uh, Por favor. Sí, ajá, para que directamente ella le, le pueda ayudar en eso. Hello. Hello. Sí. Regálemelo, por favor. Sí, ahorita se lo, se lo envío. Sí. Ok. Ah, creo que está. Ya se escucha. Hello. Ah, ok. Gracias, ¿Sí? gracias. Ya me, lo, ya me lo reenviaron. Gracias. Sí, ya lo escuché, oiga. Me están, ya, ya me, me dejaron, lo reenviaron. Gracias. Ya me dejaron sin trabajo. Está muy rápido. <risa> ok. Entonces, ese número de teléfono puede eh, eh, llamar y ellos con mucho gusto le van a asistir. Ok. Excelente. Ok. Eh, ¿alg otra, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Ok. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Ok, ok, entonces vamos a comenzar. Una pregunta para Loida. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre will y eh, would para usted? Se quedó pegada. Ahora sí. <ríe> Con el will yo puedo hablar de algo que va a pasar en el futuro. Okay. Yo paso, digamos, una oración de presente a futuro. Ok. Y el would es una terminación del verbo. Una terminación del verbo. Okay. Would. Would. Ok. W, W, Sí, o, porque yo, es una posibilidad. Ok, una posibilidad. Yo puedo decir, me gustaría, estudiaría, comería, dormiría. Es la terminación iría, la posibilidad del verbo. Okay. I'm sorry for speaking Spanish. I forgot. No, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. No, no, no. Y, paulativamente vamos a ir dejándole. No se preocupe, tranquila, todo está bien. Yes, yes. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. <laughs> Thank you. Ok. So, entonces, Thank dice usted que a will is uh, for future. We use it for future and, and would. Lo usamos por terminaciones y uh, eso. Entendido, ¿sí? Ok, very good. In a possibility. Possibility? Yes, El to would. express a possibility. El would. Would. Ok, ok, possibility. Ok, yes. very good. Eh, eh, Janet? Yes, teacher. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, eh, la diferencia entre will y would. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the same uh, of Loida. Will 
Mm -hmm. We used to to do um, sense in future in future uh, tense. Okay. And um, would mm -hmm. we used to to say that I would to say something uh, just like um, I would to go to visit my parents this weekend, for example. Okay, I would like- I don't know if I, if I do it well. So you say, I would like to go uh, to visit my parents this weekend. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So you say would, not will. Okay, yes. very good. Excellent, thank you, Janet. Not will. Not will. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, and uh, Jenny Glorivel. Eh, la diferencia entre will. Y bueno, will. yo en en español quizás no sé quizás agregar que que would es como como que yo haría algo pero voy pero prefiero hacer otra cosa. So I would como do, yo I would comería do, I would... pescado pero pero voy a comer Uh, no sé, camarones, por ejemplo. Me gustaría comer pescado, Ajá. pero comeré macarrones, algo así, pienso. Okay, okay. I would, entonces, ¿cómo diríamos en inglés? I would uh, eat macarrones instead of pescado. No, ¿cómo? Ah, o sea, es como decir, me gustaría okay. o comería pescado, oh, por ejemplo. Okay. Yo comería pescado, quizás. Uh -huh. Oh, pero, okay. pero comer camarones, algo así. Ok, ok. Entonces estamos, sí, lo estamos viendo como dijo Loida, el IA, ¿verdad? Pero, de ese punto de vista, ¿sí? Sí, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. No, that's ok, that's ok. So, en español sería eso. Ok, very good, excellent, muy bien. Y Luis Hernández, eh, ¿qué piensa de will y would? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ellos dos? El, bueno, el, el will entiendo que es para hacer una, una oración simple a, a una oración de, de futuro. Ok. Uh -huh. Al agregar el auxiliar, pues estamos creando como la promesa del, del, del futuro, que vamos a hacer algo en el futuro. Ok. Y el gul, no sé, es, es más que todo como para preguntar, ¿te gustaría algo? ¿Quieres hacer algo? El gul. Necesariamente lo vas a hacer. Mm, ok. Ajá. Ok. Solo para preguntar algo si lo va a hacer o no. Y el más will? o menos. Ok, para hablar para el futuro. Ok, very good. En uh, Roxana, thank you. En Roxana, Elizabeth. El, el, es eh, un auxiliar usado para el tiempo verbal del futuro, una oración. Ok, el will. Y el, el, el otro, que no, el no lo puedo pronunciar bien. El will, will. Sí. Diga, solo diga would. Ajá, ese, ¿Cuál? así como will. Sería el, would. el would. no, will es el auxiliar. Ajá. Will, ajá. Okay. Y el bueno. otro es... Este, el, el otro es, es would. Para formar así oraciones con verbos. Ajá. Para formar así oraciones este, con verbos en terminación, así, como por ejemplo haría, me gustaría, pero siempre en el futuro. Oh, ok. En el futuro. O sea, el, el would también lo uso para el futuro. Todo en español porque en inglés no, no lo... That's ok, that's ok. Eh, Practica. Yo creo que sí, yo pienso que sí, no sé si estoy equivocada. Ok, es cuando usted lo usa, siempre lo usa así, para el would lo usa para el futuro en terminaciones de IA y eso, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ajá. Oh, okay. Bueno, así tengo entendido, pero no sé si estoy confundida. Claro, 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 claro. Ok, no hay problema. No hay problema. Ronald Gutiérrez, would and will. Difference. Estamos viendo diferentes tipos de opiniones, ¿ya? 
después lo vamos a, a aclarar. Eh, Ronald Gutiérrez. Yes, pues yo siento que prácticamente lo que las compañeras han dicho, yo, eh, tengo entendido yo de esos dos verbos modales. ¿En ¿Qué tiene entendido? Hasta el momento, sí. ¿Qué tiene entendido, uh, Ronald? Uh, for example, the will is to talk about the future. Okay, and will is used to talk about the future, okay. And the uh, would is for add uh, 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 I, the terminación IA, <laughs> no me acuerdo cómo se dice en inglés. Okay. A, so, los, a los okay. verbos. Okay, la IA para los verbos. Okay, very good, excellent. And Stephanie, thank you. And Stephanie Ramirez. Hi, teacher. Hello, good. how are you? Pretty good. Okay. Thank you. And uh, can and you tell me, what do you think about uh, the use of will and would? What is the difference between them? Yeah. Uh, we use uh, will when we want to talk about in the future. Okay. And so would is expressing the conditional mood. Conditional. What do you mean? Um, it's uh, the same. The, lo que habló también Loida y, y Janet. Ya se me olvidó. Tienen que decir. Eso, este, es que no sé cómo explicar. <laughs> ok. Not a problem. Okay, very good. So, hemos escuchado, we have heard uh, different uh, opinions about uh, the uses of uh, will and would, and some of them are, you are right on the track, yes? But uh, this uh, will and would causes a lot of confusion for English learning. I'm going to clear up that confusion for you. I will teach you the difference between these two modal verbs. So we're going to see the difference between two modal verb. ¿Cuáles son dos, esos dos two modal verb? Eh, Loida? The modal verbs are will and would. Will and would. See, I, I want to make sure that we understand that we are just talking about the uses of those ones. Um, so, I'll show you how to use them correctly without making mistakes. And at the end, we, we're gonna have a quiz where we can see if we, if we know how to use them correctly, okay? So we're gonna go step by step. If we don't finish it today, it's okay. We can finish it tomorrow, okay? Uh, provided that you guys work on the platform on your own, okay? Because that's, that's, that's the condition. I will, I will show you this one, but uh, you have to work on the, uh, uh, um, the platform, okay? Uh, so, so we are working on the two moral verbs. Which ones are there? Are they, uh, Jenny Glorivel? Sorry, teacher. No, no. No sé cómo responderle. <laughs> okay. We are working on those two modal verbs which one are those entiendo que me, me está preguntando cuáles uh, cuáles verbos uh, mo modales <laughs> So, yes, we are, son los dos verbos modales? That we are working on. Uh, ¿Cuáles son los verbos modales en los que estamos trabajando en este precioso momento? Ah, will. Will and would. Will and would. Will yes. and would. Yes, thank you. And did you hear that, Roxana? What are the two moral verbs that we at this moment working on Roxana to will 
and work. Would. Do you know? Would. Would. Yes, would. Yes, will would. and would. Yes, we just want to make will sure. Will and would. Would. Would, yes. Okay, Mabel, good, good evening, Mabel. How are you today? Evening, teacher. Good evening. Bye. Okay. It is Adios. nice to see you. Welcome to your class. Hey, Oscar, what two modal verbs are the ones that we are going to be working on? Your question is for me. No, it's for Oscar. Oscar. No, yes. Okay. But he says that he has problems with the microphone. Okay, okay, okay. She has a microphone problem. Okay, so Mabel, Mabel, can you, um, I don't know, you just got, uh, you just logged in. Uh, uh, and um, okay, I'm gonna answer. Uh, we don't, we can hear him, yes. Okay, so Mabel, um, the two different, the difference, we are working on two modal verbs. These modal verbs are, Estamos trabajando en los verbos will and will. And would, yes, uh huh, yes. Okay, so those are the ones that we are working. So I'm gonna share the screen so we can, uh, I can write uh, um, what I need you and let me know if you're able to see the screen. Yes, is every, is everybody there? Okay, so so the two modal verbs is will and would. And do you remember that uh, the uh, pronunciation for this one is like this one, would, like this, would, would, would. would. So would. the O and the L are mute. So you say will and would, okay? So it would be would, will and would, would. yes? And we're gonna use this one. Um, we're gonna use this this one in will three different. Uh, we're gonna see the three differences between will and would. So we're gonna talk about three differences between um, will and would. Okay. That's what we're gonna be talking about. Three differences, and uh, it's gonna be. The three difference, differences are going to be uh, when we talk about predictions. Predictions. The other one is when we talk about decision. And last one is when we talk about promise. Uh, when we promise something. Okay. So will and would. Three differences between will and would. Prediction. Whenever we talk about prediction, decision, and promise, okay? Are we okay? Yes? So, Eloida. Yes, teacher. So yes. we're gonna be looking at three differences. What are those differences? Uh, the differences are prediction, decision, and promise. And promise. So, so the, the uses of will, like uh, uh, Loida says, we use the verb will to talk about what? Uh, I st still, <laughs> uh, I answer. Yes. The differences between will and would. Yes, uh-huh. So uh, three different, we're gonna be talking about three differences uh, between will and would. And when we talk about predictions, uh, decisions and promise. And um, you told us, uh, Loida, yes. Lloyd, that uh, we use the verb will to talk about what? 
the future. Future, yes. To okay. convert a sentence in yes. from present to future. Yes, so we're gonna be use the, the, the moral verb. Moral moral verb will to talk about uh, Yeah, talk about future, yes. Okay. For example, uh, do you drive, uh, uh, Loida? Sir? Do you drive? For example. Do you drive? Ah, yes, do I you, drive. Do you travel? Yes. Where, how far do you travel? I will, yes, I will. <laughs> how far do you I'm travel? sorry? Do you travel? Do you I travel? travel? I uh, the last week uh, the, the last weekend I traveled to um Lourdes, Colombia. Okay. So driving. Okay, so we can say the Loida Loida I will, will will be in uh, Lourdes, Colón. No, no, no. No, 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 qué? In Lourdes, next. What? Alguien dijo, no, 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 no. Hello. Yes. Oh, Loida will next be. Next weekend. Estoy probando el, el micrófono, yo creo que ya sonó. ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Yes, yes, Oscar. <laughs> okay. I can hear you. Lo, very good. Okay. Okay. Loida will be in Lourdes, Colón, yes, by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Okay. So this is, a, um, we are using will as a what? Are we using will as a prediction, as a, a decision, or promise? A decision. A decision. So you already have decided to be there. Or, is, or, or are you sure that you're going to yes. be there? Yes. Or it's a prediction. It's when you are or sure. It's a, it's a prediction that you think that you're going to be there by 7 a.m. Or it's a decision. Liz Hernandez, are we sure that Loida will be in Lourdes, Colón by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning? Si Loida irá a Lourdes, Colón. No, Loida will be, will be in Lourdes, Colón by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Is that considered a prediction, a decision, or a promise? Promise. A promise? Uh huh. Yes, Oscar. Promise. No te escuchamos, Oscar. Lo siento. I, I, I think a promise. A promise. Okay. Pero, ¿cómo está? estamos nosotros seguros que ella va a estar ahí a las 7 de la mañana? Maybe a prediction. A prediction, right? Because we don't know for sure that you are going to be there. You may be, you may be late. So, it's a prediction that we are saying. It's a prediction. So, in something, but this is something real. Yep. Is a maybe is because it's not sure. Yes, there we go. Yes, it's not uh, for sure that you you make plans to be there, but something in the way can happen. Maybe there is an accident, and you are not mm -hmm. able to drive. But the traffic. A traffic. Stopped. There we go. Yeah. Traffic jam. Traffic yes. jam. So we are making a prediction that you yes. might be there by 7 a.m. The, the problem is the 7 a.m. 
because we can say Loida will be in Lourdes, Cologne tomorrow morning. Yes, morning is uh, from uh, a midnight till the noon. So you will be there, right? And that is like a promise. Yes. Or a decision. But when you put time on it, then it becomes a prediction. So the, and this time is like a prediction. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at the will, the uh, modal verb will uh, to make prediction. Now the second one will be a decision. Yes, a, a decision, let's see. E, maybe, maybe the, uh, have you eaten uh, dinner yet? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's. Uh, let's uh, you you I are hungry. Dinner. I am. Huh? I am hungry. I don't know dinner. You have not uh, eaten dinner. So um, we're gonna say the Mabel. Mabel is hungry. Mabel is hungry, so she will eat a pizza. Okay, she will eat a pizza. So what is this? Is this a prediction, a decision, or it's a promise? decision a decision yes because she is hungry she decided to eat a pizza yes todos ven eso estamos viendo el will ahorita estamos viendo solamente will the modal verb will so and we're looking at the modal verb this is the simple the simplest way to look at uh, the modal verb will so it's it's not only we're not looking at the moral uh, uh, will from the point of view of a beginner's uh, uh, a point of view yes a will for the future we're looking at it as a as a prediction as a decision and as a promise so in this case mabel is hungry why is she eating a pizza is that the question that may arise and you say janet why is mabel Franco eating a pizza. And Janet says. Because she's hungry. Because she's hungry. And she decided. She decided. Yes, yeah, she decided to eat a pizza because pizza. she's hungry, teacher. Yes. Yes. The whole pizza, maybe, right? The whole pizza, not only yes. half a pizza, the whole pizza because she's hungry. Now let's 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 turn let's switch the idea. Now, Janet, are you hungry? No, no, not, yet. not quite, not quite hungry. So Janet says I. Janet says I. We're gonna we're gonna make another decision. I'm. So Janet says, I'm, I'm not. Again, are you still <laughs> there? <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened to you guys? ¿Qué pasó, teacher? <laughs> what happened to ya you trae, Ya trae la pizza. Yeah, there we go. Yes, so Janet says, for la pizza. Janet says, <laughs> so Janet says, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Come, so. Entonces me voy, dijo el teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to eat just a pupusa. Yeah. So I, I am not hungry, so I decided to eat just a pupusa. So that is a decision. So she says, I'm not hungry, so I will, I will just eat 
a pizza. Yeah? Do you see it now? I am not hungry, so I will just eat a pupuza. And that is a decision, correct, uh, Mr. Hernan? Can you see it? Excuse me? Yeah, do you see it, decision? Do you see the application of will as a decision? Yes? Okay, okay. So now we're gonna make an example of a promise, something that I promising you. So at the by the end, by the end of uh, the course, by the end of the course, I am send you the hmm? The certificate. Yes, I promise. <laughs> the certificate by mail. Yeah? By the end of the course, I will send you. So this is I will send you is a promise. The certificate by mail. I am promising to send you that certificate uh, by what uh, mean by mail. Yeah, so this is a promise. Yeah. So the will is over here. It's a promise that I'm saying that uh, by the end of the course, I will send you the certificate by mail. Now, um, Loida, can you uh, um, elaborate a sentence promising something or, or predicting something or making a decision using will? I think will. that the last sentence is a promise. I will send, it's a promise. Okay, you can you make, can you elaborate one by yourself? Either making a decision, uh, making okay. a promise or making a prediction. And Janet, can you elaborate one for us as well? I can hear you uh, to, to, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Can no, you repeat I, I'm me? Sorry. Yes, uh, can you elaborate one sentence using will, um, either making a prediction, making a decision or making a promise? Ah, another sentences. Yes. Uh, tonight I will send my um, application to the other level course. We'll send the tonight I will send. Or the, the next month. application for the next module. Module. Course. The, for the next module. module. Or for the next course. This is a sentence. Like a promise. A promise. Okay, you're promising that to tonight that will happen tonight. You will send the application. Okay, so you're promising to do something yes. tonight. Very good. And uh, Janet, Janira. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. Um. When I have my next um,
no recuerdo cómo se dice eh, mi siguiente pago, mi siguiente salario. Um, I get my next paycheck. My, when I have my next paycheck, I'll, we, I will buy something cute to my daughter. To my daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, okay, for my lovely, lovely daughter. Okay, so uh, tell me, what is this? This is a prediction, a decision, or a promise? This is a promise. Uh, it's a conditional promise, right? Mm. If you don't get a check, you're not buying anything. If you don't get a check, nothing will be buy. But, but if I, but I, but if I, I, I I'm, a, I'm for sure that I have, uh, that I will, I will have it. I will, then you will say that I will buy something cute for my lovely daughter uh, for her birthday. Yes. I will buy something cute yes. for my lovely daughter for her birthday. So you're promising something, right? Without any condition, because no matter what, her birthday will be there. Okay. 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 So I will buy something cute for my lovely daughter. Yes. So very good. Excellent. Okay. So we have. Um, uh, do you have any questions about uh, the uses of will for the future? Oscar, the Mabel, the Jenny, Glover, and Stephanie. No, Stephanie? Okay, Stephanie, can you make a, a, a sentence for us? Either, either making a prediction, uh, making a decision, or making a promise? Okay, it's a decision. This summer, I will go to the beach with my family. Okay, this uh, this summer, this summer, I will go to the beach with uh, my family. The family. Yeah. Okay. Is is that correct, uh, Oscar? Is that a promise? It's a decision. A decision? Is that a decision? Yes, teacher, is a decision. Uh, Oscar, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Oscar. Uh, Ronald Gutierrez, is that a decision, a promise, or a prediction? I think it is a decision. As if she decided to go, uh, instead of going the, somewhere else, she decided to go with her family. She is dedicating the uh, summer, the complete summer for them, right? Okay. And Oscar, can you, um, or Ronald, can you uh, give us a sentence, either a prediction, decision, or promise? Mm, for example, I will give you a gift for your birthday. I will give you a gift for yeah. my, my birthday or for your birthday? Yeah, for your birthday. Okay, so you're mm. promising me a gift. My birthday is on April 25th, don't forget. And he's promised. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, my birthday is on uh, the 25th. So you, I will <laughs> give you a gift for your birthday. All right, 
Yes, very good. Anybody else wants to try to make a sentence uh, using the will? ¿Alguien más quiere probar hacer una oración usando el will? No? Me. Okay, go ahead, please. Me? Yes, go ahead. Me, me, me. Uh, the next week. The, oh, next week. The next week. Next week. The next week. Next week, yes. Uh, next week, uh, I will. I will. Pay money. Pay. Next week, I will pay. Money. <laughs> uh huh. Money. Yeah. Money. Money. No, ¿qué vas a pagar? Vas a pagar planilla, vas a pagar por, por el, el teléfono, vas a pagar por el gas, vas a pagar por la luz. Bueno, solo intento decir que la próxima semana <ríe> voy a pagar el dinero. <ríe> sí, pero ¿para qué? Ah, ok. Uh, next week I... Next week I will pay my employees. Employees. My employees. Sir. Yes, next week I will pay my employees. Ok. So, eso está diciendo que la próxima semana te va a pagar a tus empleados. Yes. Es, es, es una... Eh, es un prediction, uh, decision or promise. Promise. Okay. ¿Y para qué? Y para que sea una prediction, ¿qué necesitamos ponerle ahí, Roxana? Roxana. Perfecto. No, Roxana. Ok. Necesitamos ponerle un día específico. Día, yeah. día, hora. Yes, exacto. Sí, eso sería ya una prediction porque no sabemos algo puede pasar, ¿verdad? Pero sí, next week I will pay my employees. Es una promise y no es una prediction. Very good. Ok, that's... Uh, Sorry, teacher, ¿qué dijo que le tendría que poner? Un, algo específico. De lo, algo que para que va a pasar eso es una prediction porque no estamos seguros que que vaya a pasar. Por eso el, el will para el futuro okay. está como una prediction. Ok, so that's, um, that's will. What about wood? Ok, that's will. Will. Ok, Dice, vamos a... También podría ser, también podría ser next week I will be on vacation. Yes, I will be, I will take uh, my vacation by next week. Week, yeah. I will take vacation by next week. I will take my vacation by next week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. What okay. about the wood? Okay, Uses a wood. Now oh, we're gonna see wood. Uh, uh, it is simply the past tense. So it is simply, or it's simply the past tense uh, of will. The past tense form of will. Okay, so case would, maybe case would, Mabel, ¿qué es wood? Will. Wood. Will. Wood. Wood, ¿qué es wood? Cuando vamos a hablar en pasado. 
It's simply the past tense form of will. ¿Qué es would? De una forma así. It's uh, simply the past tense form of will. ¿Qué es would, Mabel? Una forma simple. It's simply the past tense form of will. Maybe, kids would. It's it's simply. Solo solo lee lo aquí, Mabel, Mabel. Solo lee lo que es would. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's simply the past form of will. Yes, that is would. So lo vamos a ver de ese punto de vista. It is simply the past tense form of will. Entonces vamos a usar los mismos, uh, las mismas uh, oraciones que usamos en el will, pero ahora usando el would para ver lo que es simplemente el past tense. Yeah. Imagine, imagine que Loila no pudo llegar a Lourdes. ¿A qué hora dijimos que Lola iba a llegar a Lourdes? ¿Cuál es la oración, Janet? Seven. Eh, the 10th is Loida will be in Lourdes, Colón, by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. By 7. Thank you. A.m. Tomorrow morning. Morning. Ok. Let's, esta fue una, era una prediction, ¿verdad? Que, que estábamos haciendo. Loida will be in Lourdes Colón by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So, imagine she didn't reach Colón by 7 a.m. in the morning. So, now we're gonna, we, we will look at the past. We will look back at the past. Eh, por ejemplo, ella iba a estar ahí el lunes, ahora estamos viendo el miércoles. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So, ahora vamos a, a, a ver cómo lo hacemos, because that, it didn't happen. ¿Qué es lo que no pasó, Oscar? Oscar, ¿qué es lo que no pasó? Que yo estuve a las 7. Ya, yeah, yeah. eso no pasó, ¿verdad? Entonces hoy vamos a ver cómo vamos a hacer. Entonces vamos a decir, Loida, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Loida pensó, ¿verdad? Loida thought. ¿Ya? Yeah? She would. Yes. Como es el pasado, miren, she would. ¿Ya? Yeah? Loida thought she would be, she would be in where? In Lourdes. In Lourdes, Lourdes, Colón. What time? By? At 7 a.m. By, by 7 a.m. By 7 a.m. Yes. But it didn't happen. So, Loida, I'm sorry, it's Loida, Loida, Loida thought she would be in Lourdes, Colón, by 7 a.m. ¿Sí? Entonces, ahí estamos, estamos usando el would. Este would estamos usando como el pasado de will. ¿Sí? Entonces, decimos Loida thought y ponemos el verbo pasado. Pensó que ella estaría en Lourdes, Colón, by 7 a.m. Yes. Vemos esta predicción que no, no pasó, ¿verdad? No pasó. So, entonces usamos el would para look back at the past. 
Entonces estamos usando el wood aquí para ver, look back at the past. So, no it does, uh -huh. it would be in Lourdes Colón by 7 a.m. ¿Lo podemos ver esto, Ronald Gutiérrez? Yes, teacher. Ok, ¿me puede hacer una oración usted? Mm. Una predicción. Hágame la predicción y luego hágame que no pasó la predicción. Um, tomorrow will be raining. Esa es una predicción. In the morning. Tomorrow. Sí, podría ser. No. Uh, it uh, will be, be raining. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. And I told. I thought will be. Uh -huh. I thought. Okay. Uh, today. No, estamos hablando de. We're thinking about the past. We look back at the past. So, esto es lo que predijimos nosotros. Y ahora estamos dos días después. O un día después. Diciendo mm. que no pasó. Okay. I told yesterday. I thought it uh, yesterday you it will be raining. It will yes, would be raining yesterday. Yeah, very good. I thought it would be raining yesterday. I thought it would be raining yesterday. Very good. Excellent. Entonces, parece que, yes, we got it. And um, let's see, who else wants to try it? ¿Quién más quiere probar? Hacer una oración, una prediction, y luego una, una, eh, un look back uh, at uh, the past and say que no pasó lo que pensamos que iba a pasar. ¿Alguien más quiere probar? No. Uh, he thinks... Hello. Sí, sí, sí. He thinks he will win the right. He think he will. Uh, he will. Uh -huh. The rice. We we will the rice. Rice, see. Or the rice. Carrera. <laughs> race. Race. Ah, uh, race. Mm -hmm. Race. Okay. Think, uh, he will. He will win. Win the race, okay. All right. Ahora, ¿no la ganó? No. <laughs> no, no la ganó. Y ahora, ¿qué decimos para look back in, in the past? Look back at the past. Oh. Oh. He thought. Uh huh. Um, he thought. He thought. With the right. He thought. Uh huh. He uh, win the race. He thought win. Win the race. Yeah. Así. ¿Y dónde está el wood? 
El Wood es el pasado de oh. Will. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, Will. Sí, Will. He would, he would win the race. He would, uh, he would win the race. Yeah, he thought he would win the race. Yes, uh -huh. very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay, ahora vamos a ver el, el otro de, eh, de que eh, Janet no, eh, ¿qué es lo que dijo Janet? Que no, estaba, no tenía hambre, ¿verdad? Janet oh, ah, dijo, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm not, Hungry. Parece que así dijo, I'm not hungry, so. I'm not hungry, so I will decide to eat just a pupusa. Okay, so I will. So I. I will decide. I will eat just. I will, I will just. I will decide. Eat. No, porque will is decide. Just, a I will just eat a pupusa. Ok, very good. Pero luego se da cuenta de que no, que en realidad sí tenía hambre. Nomás dijo por pena. Entonces, ¿qué dice? I thought. Ah, uh, so, I, I wasn't, I was, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, hungry. I was. Hungry, yes, I wasn't hungry, so, so, I saw, mm -hmm. so we're going to report, in this case, what we're going to do, is we are going to report a past conversation, so the previous conversation says, I'm not hungry, so I will just eat a pupusa, so we're going to report that we say what someone said in the past, So we said that someone says in the past. So um, Janet says, I wasn't hungry. So I said, she says, I said, I said, ¿Qué es lo que dijo ella? That, uh, ¿Qué dijo? She will, she will eat. Uh, just a pupusa. Very good. Would. I said I would. Porque si le pongo el will, este es el, 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 el presente, el futuro, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos usando el pasado de ella. So, I said that I would, el pasado. I would just have or eat. ¿Qué? Okay. ¿Ah? Papusa. So we are just uh, uh, reporting a past conversation and we say what uh, someone says. So in, the, in this case, uh, we said what uh, Janet said in the past. Eso es lo que dijo ella hace unos minutos atrás. Yes. Hey, no, Loida. Loida le dijo, uh, Janet, uh, would you like to eat something? Uh, I'm not hungry. So... I will just eat a pupusa, yeah? And Loida, two hours later, when the, sees that uh, Janet is eating a lot, she, he said, oh, Loida says I wasn't hungry. So I said, said Janet, that we'll just have a pupusa. And now I'm eating a lot. So eso es reportando a una conversación que estuvo en el pasado. All right? Okay, hasta aquí vamos a llegar. Porque el tiempo eh, se nos ha cortado. El tiempo es bien corto para hablar de esto. Pero eh, están, están viendo que estamos hablando de will and would de una forma en el pasado. Would ya lo estamos viendo de una forma diferente como el pasado de will. Ya no solamente el ia como lo veíamos antes, sino ya lo estamos viendo ya como se usa en unas conversaciones. Y nos faltó de cómo usarlo para... para para pedir cosas también, cuando uno quiere algo, cuando uno eh, necesita algo, entonces usa ese también, el, el would, para hacer el request. Y lo vamos a ver desde ese punto de vista, cuando nosotros pedimos permiso, cuando ofrecemos algo o cuando queremos algo. Por ejemplo, cuando digo, would you mind lending me some money? Es cuando nosotros eh, 
estamos pidiendo algo. Would you like, would you mind, would you mind lending me some money? En ese caso, no lo estamos viendo como, como pasado o como futuro, sino que lo estamos viendo de una forma como, como pidiendo un favor, una forma como request, algo en una eh, polite expression se llama. We use would, not will. Eso lo vamos a ver mañana. ¿Ok? Entonces, espero no haberlos perdido con esto. Espero que, que practiquen eso que vimos ahora y que lo, 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 lo entendamos bien claramente. Y van a ver que bien bonito cuando usted empieza a ver de esa forma el wood, porque ya no lo ve, ya no lo ve de una forma eh, cerrada, sino que lo ve de una forma abierta. Donde después se, usted se puede expander. Y cuando lo oigan hablar, van a decir, wow. Yes, ok, de eso se trata. Ok, entonces estamos, a, hasta ahí llegamos. Uh, please work on the platform. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know, ok? Uh, if there is no question, um, I will go ahead and uh, disconnect and I'll see you tomorrow, ok? Have a good night, everyone. And, uh, good I, thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.